Hey, what's up guys? BHA Tech Hunter here, and today we're going to be doing something super easy, something real simple. Setting up a USB flash drive as a crypto hardware wallet. This is something you're going to want to do to keep your cryptocurrency off of exchanges, because exchanges can get hacked, and online wallets can get compromised. So a hardware wallet is the one and only true way to keep your cryptocurrency safe and with the crypto boom right now everyone is getting into crypto so this is a useful easy tech tip on how to do this so the first thing you're going to want to grab is veracrypt and that's how we will encrypt our usb drive to keep it safe from theft or getting lost and someone plugging it in so they can't just like steal your monies you know your stonks uh, and the next thing you're going to want to grab is Coinami. Uh, this is a cryptocurrency wallet and it supports Bitcoin and all the major altcoins, Monroe, Ethereum, all that kind of jazz. And you're just going to want to grab both of these. I already have both of these. Oh, and also Veracrypt supports Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Raspberry Pi OS, FreeBDS, basically everything you could ever think of. So you can plug this USB drive into anything and be able to load it up. So once you get those, you're gonna just wanna go through the setup process. First, you're gonna wanna go and do Veracrypt setup. Yes. And there we go, it's successfully installed. Uh, you can skip this because I'm going to walk you through how to set this up. So you're just going to want to walk into Veracrypt. You're going to want to create a new volume. Now you can encrypt specific files or you can encrypt a whole partition. So you're going to want to do that. Now once you've done that, you can click uh, standard volume or alternatively you can click a hidden volume. Uh, this is for situations where you can't refuse to reveal your password for like extortion reasons you can do it that way if you want to but for this i'm just going to go through the standard setup uh, you're just going to want to select your drive you'll see it in your list i have my named wallet and i'm going to want to click next uh, create a encrypted volume and format it you can use a yes with the sha 512 al uh, algorithm this is very strong and will be perfectly fine. You can alternatively, if you're privy to this kind of stuff, you can select your own al algorithm if you have a preference, but the defaults are fine. Your partition is this. You're gonna wanna pick a password for this. We're just gonna do, I don't wanna mess it up. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Next. Short passwords are hard, easy to crack. You can select yes for this, or you can select no really depends on if you'll be using this USB drive for anything else besides your wallet. I'm just going to select yes. And now they have a random mouse movement algorithm thing, which creates a key basically. So you're just going to want to move your mouse around in random directions for a second until the green bar is all the way filled up. Bam. Now you can just quick, quick, quick format. Uh, XFAT is compatible with above 4 gig. If you're doing lower than 4 gig, you'll also say uh, FAT, which is compatible with Linux and Mac OS as well. Format. Yes, I want to format it. Bam. Formatted. Yes, yes. Now we're just going to click exit. Now you can see that we have a removable disk here. But if I click on it, it's going to say you can format it. You cannot open your disk this way. If you format the drive, it will delete all the data. So I'm just going to, want to hit cancel on that. Now, to open your drive, you're going to want to click. You can turn on auto mount devices. So now if I just type 1, 2, 3, 4. Did I put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Hopefully it was 1, 2, 3, 4. Now it'll take a second. Well, perfect. Now that we're through that, this is how you will open your drive. There you go. Now you have an encrypted USB drive. If you unmount this, it will stay encrypted and you will not lose your data, but this is where you will store stuff. So now that it's mounted, we can go ahead and set up our wallet. So we're just going to want to go ahead and open Coinami. Run. Yes. I accept. 
next. Now you're going to want to go to browse. You're going to want to collapse that. You're going to want to go to the whatever drive you whatever drive letter you have assigned, you can see it in here. So this one's assigned to A drive. So I wanna select the A drive and that's where I wanna install Coinami to. Next, I don't wanna create a desktop shortcut. I wanna install it. Now that you've opened up the wallet, you should have a screen somewhat like this. It's gonna give you a combination of codes. I, for the purpose of this, do not care. Do not share this code with anybody. You should write it down on paper and keep it in a safe place offline. Do not keep it online. Never enter it anywhere. Never give it to anybody. This is just for you. Treat this like your social security number or social insurance number. Do not give this to anybody. So I don't care. So for the purpose of this, I'm just going to go like this. And I'm going to that you can't see this because it's on my other monitor but there we go now i have that now i'm going to say that i have safely uh done this uh it's going to ask you for the order for the purpose of this i don't care i'm just going to skip it but you can check it yourself and skip confirm now i want a password it's got to be a certain amount of digits long it's got to be 10 so i'll put my password in there we go. Now I'm just gonna select the coins I want. So let's say I want Bitcoin and I want Dash and Decreed and Dogecoin and Ethereum and game credits because it's all about gaming. Litecoin, Monero, Navcoin, Neem, Earcoin, Redcoin, Ripple, uh, let's get Tron, Verge, Viacoin, Zcash, basically all like a bunch of the cryptos in the top 100, whatever. Next, there you go. Now we have all of these coins. Now it's as simple as this. You want to put things on here? Let's say I want to put Dogecoin on here. Let's receive some Dogecoin. Whoops copy now we're gonna hop over to whatever exchange we have our coins stored in so i have some coins on ftx so let's deposit some dogecoin i want to withdraw i want to withdraw the max amount i gotta send my phone an sms i will jump back when this is in my wallet now as you can see my dogecoin has left my ftx wallet and the scary exchange and it has taken a beautiful blockchain journey running like a free doge to my konami account well it will be safe on my encrypted wallet now here's my dogecoin and now my one dollar and 17 usd is safe now all this is stored locally and you can unplug this and all this will stay here. So if I was to just go like this, let's just disable my internet and minimize it. And let's just close and reopen it. That's the simplest way. And there it is. It's still here. It hasn't gone anywhere. And now you guys can keep your crypto safe. You can, as you can see, uh, when I'm unplugged from the internet, I can't use the exchange, but if I were to plug in, then I can exchange my Dogecoin for Ethereum or Bitcoin or whatever else I want. Now, I hope this is a good follow-up and helps keep you guys safe. Uh, as we explained how Bitcoin mining works in the last video, cryptocurrency mining, and we set that up with our wonderful nice hash miner over here. Now, I hope this video will help you keep your money off of the nice hash uh, wallet in exchange and keep it safe in your own little USB drive. I'm BHA Tech Hunter and have a good day. Hey, this video is brought to you by us. BHA Tech Store dot com is now live. Check it out in the video description down below. The latest tech reviews and now the latest merch designs. BHA Tech Store dot com.